is up guys this is HT here and I'm here to bring you my first tutorial of the series of creating a background on Photoshop now first of all I want to say a big big thank you for 850 subscribers I've got a bit more than that that's how late I am I'm sorry and I'm sorry for not bringing this tutorial out a lot sooner I should have I've just been really busy throughout the week school college work etc uh, etc et now Let's get down to this. Um, with this tutorial, I'm going to be doing the background of the background. If you know what I mean, it's actually this, this bit. Um, I think this part is incredibly important into making a good-looking background. And if this is wrong, you know, it may not look as good as you wanted to. So to begin with, firstly, um, hi. <laughs> um, no. Um, we're gonna start with creating a new layer just for this background because you're gonna need one otherwise it'll just go crazy if you know what I mean. Now first of all you just want to hit down this button create a new layer just hit that so you create a new layer you can rename it if you want to I'm just gonna call this background just like that. Um, once you've done that um, we're gonna use the gradient tool and that is located here um, with the paint bucket tool just hold that one down and you'll find this the gradient tool just like that. Uh, next of all, you want to pick the colors that you would like um, up here. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so here, yeah, just click it once. And I think on default, you get this third one, uh, black and white. Uh, you just freely change it, just double click these. Um, this, the one on the left, will be your inner color. So I'm going to go with a nice lightish blue. And for the outside color on the right, I'll go with black. Just like that hit OK and we've got colors. Next what you want to do is change the, um, I don't even know really what it's called, I'm just going to call it a map because I'm cool like that. Uh, change it from linear, I think that's the default to this radical gradient. Once you've done that, as simple as that, you're just going to click in the middle, roughly the center of your background and just drag out just like this and just like that look, it's already looking nice, this gradient is looking wicked. Um, now, I like to uh, differentiate between my backgrounds when I'm doing background making. It honestly depends who I'm making it for. For example, I, I have two sort of categories: is the game background and the clean background slash professional one. Either way, they're all professional, but still, if you know what I mean. Um, when I say this, I mean it's depending on the size of the radius. This probably doesn't. Probably guys don't really care about this. So I'm still gonna say it anyway, but um. When it comes to doing gamer gamer backgrounds and stuff like this, the size of the gradient I normally do a lot smaller. So it could be about this size, but it's generally a lot smaller, like here, just like that, because it gives a nice glow effect and it really makes makes it a little bit stand out. I don't know why I just prefer it like this when it comes to gamer ones, or when it comes to uh, professional clean kind of backgrounds. Not saying that gamer ones are not professional, you know, I don't want to offend you guys who make them. But um, I, I generally tend to um, just pull it out a lot and just pull it like that, if not a bit more <coughs> like that. Um, next thing, actually before we go to there, there's another tool that I know that, um, actually not many people know this, but I find it really good. Like it gives, I don't know how it just works, but it looks pretty good. Uh, you want to just go over to um, filter. Go down to render and go to lighting effects. Now there's something about this that it just makes it look a, a bit cooler. If you would like to say that, you can just honestly you just change it about. You change so much on this. This would be pretty useful on um, uh, partner backgrounds, stuff like that. You can change the 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 width of the gradient just like this. You can change the position which way you put it. Is is that simple? You can change how it is. You can change it like this. I'm not going with that, I'll go this, this one now, forget that one. I'll just stick to spotlight, which is looking pretty cool already. Just like that, why well, just um, Actually, let's have, let's see, you can always change about these, you know, just like that. You can change about the settings, whatever you want to do with it. Um, <coughs> sorry. Um, oops. Uh, change the gloss about, etc. To the material you want, to, uh, metallic or is plastic I'll just, I think I'll just keep it there just let's see it okay and let's see how it is look okay I probably didn't do as well as I could have 
but um, it's looking okay. I, I you know, if, if I had a bit more time, I probably could make it better. But that gives you a general idea of the lighting effect. You know, if you change the browser angle, saves you time. Oh, well, just a little bit. Well, at least you can tweak it if you know what I mean. Um, well, let's just discard that one, hide it, and go to this one now. Basically, back where we were. Um, um, what I like to do after this is create, well, not create, is put on a, a pattern onto this. Now, this is what I, I do a lot. Um, um, a lot of people request the patterns. I put it in my pack. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention that I did make a pack so. My series of tutorials will be circling around this pack, so if you don't have it, I mean, I recommend you get it. But if you have already most of the tools required, then that's totally fine. Like I've got patterns here, etc. Um, yeah. Now onto patterns. Like I said, what we're gonna do is just double click your background, so you're like that. Go over to pattern overlay. Just tick it, then click it. That sounds pretty cool. Um, uh, oh, I got it ready here. Uh, you'll find on default this will be normal and this will be any of these. Let's just check here. Um. <coughs> just see. I generally pick this one, but for some reason I can't see them come up. For whatever reason, I, I actually don't know. For some reason, they're not actually coming up one sec. Let's just delete this one. Uh, let me try clean, so I'll pause it for a second. Try to fix it, but we'll still a minute. But already. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I meant to fix it, but I had to delete and etc. etc. Now let's just go back, double click it. Um, go on to gradient overlay just like that. No, no, not gradient overlay. I'm saying a uh, pattern overlay, and then click the word and go over to patterns. I'll just show you one of the ones I gave you. Just click this little arrow right here. Go over to um, scan lines. Hit OK, and just click one of these. As you can see, there's quite nice lines. But if you go over to overlay, I believe you'll just look pretty cool just like that as you can see the line just cut off and I do this a lot on all my backgrounds but I'll just show you one example look it's already on my background currently these scan lines and they look pretty good and really does make a background just stand out um yeah um with that I did put a lot of other patterns you can find these no hold etc etc just like that let's hit okay um is there any more to say? Hmm. 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 Ah, sorry. Uh, I just realized. Uh, what one other thing, probably the last thing is using textures. Like, I've used textures in, in several of my backgrounds. Not recently, but I have done so. And I just wanted to show you how it, that would look. So let me just quickly take off the pattern, pattern overlay. Go over to my. Um, texture pack and yes, yeah, so already select I'm going to use this old texture, just drag it on just like this. That's me, that's what she said. Uh, just like that, drag it so it fits the size. I wouldn't recommend this, uh, to um, I mean, like to drag it this much because it does really stretch the thing. Um, but in this case, I'm just showing you, you know, it's probably looks fine because this one doesn't have that much texture compared to others. So let's just close the file, put place, go over to overlay, just like that. Now of course it probably looks hideous right now, but we can soon fix that. Just go over to your texture if if you're using one. I did create a texture pack so if you're wondering where the hell are these textures, they're not in the pack that you gave me. I did make another one separately. You can find it somewhere probably in the description. I'll put it down for you guys. Uh, but yeah right click this Go to rasterize layer so when that little thing is gone, so now you can edit it and go over to image adjustment. Now you can do uh, two of the things you can go to hue and saturation that will allow you to change the color of the um, the texture. But I'm just going to go to straight up black and white, just change it like that. 
and just hit OK. You can mess about with these if you wish, but I won't. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Now, as you can see, this is looking wow. Like this is already looking pretty good. And let's see if I if I put on the scan lines, if it looks even better. Well, have I put on the scan lines? Let's check. Um, scan lines like that. That's still looking pretty good. If I just turn down the oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Turn down the opacity down a little bit. Like that. Now, if you change the pattern, I will use this pattern. Now, I ha I didn't give this pattern set because this is a super sense VFX. So if you just go over to his channel, you can find his uh, patterns. I didn't want to put this in my one for two reasons. It's because it's it's his patterns, but also because the file size is pretty big. So I just left that like that. If you've got these ones, these ones are somewhat better. You know, there's no fuss about them. It doesn't really brighten your thing, but if you like that, then I guess you did, didn't it? Uh, let's just zoom in so you can just see a bit there, the scan lines. Um, uh, that is it guys, I'm sorry this tour has gone on for a bit long, let's see what we 11 minutes, I'm sorry if I just blabbered on or that you basically learned nothing from this tutorial, um, but I hope you have, honestly I'll, I'll move, I'll, for the next tutorial I'll hopefully move on to the modules, so we'll carry on this process from this background and um, you know what, I hope you guys learned something, um, I hope you enjoyed and do recommend me uh, something uh, from a, a, a the what am I saying? Sorry. Uh, if there's anything that you would want to see, if there's um, well, I'm gonna do modules hopefully for the next tutorial. But if there's something else, if there's one of my previous backgrounds that I've made, you can check them on my portfolio. If there's something that you know, I've interested you and you want to know how to do, maybe text and 4D, etc. Please do put a comment down. I love reading all your comments. Love seeing likes. Hopefully you would drop a like for me, and any criticism. If you wish, if I blabbered on too much, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, um, <clears throat> that is it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and hope you enjoyed.